Uh, the three that we drop in here next is lot seven, eight, and nine. Uh, this would be a 32 liter crossbred barrows. Uh, they're sired by Pass the Hat back on a snafu. Uh, Pass the Hat again, a, a tricked out son that our buddy Troy and, and AC raised down there, Team Sloan. Uh, had a very good run and, and has continued to have a good run. Uh, just had that champion at OIE. Uh, we had some barrels last fall that Cole Phillips got that um, that had a good run down there in Texas, and one of them I think was second in class, made the sale down there. So uh, these three barrels here are all three of them probably a little bit different in their type and kind, but all three of them I think have uh, some very good value to them. Uh, the the one in the center of the ring there, that three is probably the biggest one. These are the, kind of the end of January time frame, uh, this litter here. So uh, if you're needing something, a bigger barrel to, to make it to your county fair or something, I think uh, I think he can definitely do that. Uh, the dash four there is, is one that is probably one of my favorites uh, in this group. I think one that offers a lot of good value to him. He's stout skulled and, and got a good forearm on him. Uh, probably a little longer hip too, uh, the way that he puts together there from the side with plenty of shape. And then the other one there, the chromed up one, the dash one, uh, another one that's kind of in between those two, I think, a very nice one structure-wise is good and correct. Uh, he does have just a little bit of abscess there on the back from castrating, and, and we guarantee that to go away and, and go down. So we've been treating them, and I don't think that'll be a problem. So. Yeah, you got three very different types of barrows here. I think uh, the, the traditional belted one's going to be a little bit faster growing. He's not going to be able to be held all, all fall, but I think he's off, he offers a lot of good. The chromed up one is, is one I like a good deal. I think from the side, he puts a lot of things together. He's got a big square hip on him, a good tail root. Uh, the, the black one is one that I think you'll be able to show all fall. I don't think he's going to grow for, grow too fast for you so i think you'll be able to sit on him and hold him most of the fall yeah definitely i mean as stout featured as that one is i have no problem with with him kind of feeding a little bit slower and uh i think that one's got a large feeding window these other two uh you know if you need something a little bit earlier or bigger i think that those two can be pushed pretty good uh and make it to an earlier fare if that's what you're looking for so again this is lot seven eight and nine these are crossbred barrels past the hat back on a snafu uh younger snafu sow here